Where's Jake? Quinn asked. She wanted to scream, but knew that wouldn't help anything. I don't know. Max couldn't locate him either, Fred whispered. His hands shook. He's scared, Quinn realized. She was too. They'd gone to pick up Jake from school along with Quinn's two children, but Jake had been picked up already by an unknown relative. Well, who was the most likely relative to pick Jake up from school? My father, Fred mumbled. Fine, that's a great place to start then. Let's go find him. Quinn grabbed Sammy and Denny's hands and they all followed Fred down the street. Thankfully, Fred's parents' home wasn't all that far from the school, positioned on a lovely street on the Upper East Side. Soon enough, Fred, Quinn, and the children burst through the front door of his parents' three-level brownstone. Jake, are you in here? Fred yelled, but there was no answer. Dad, it's me. Is Jake here? Fred shouted again, growing more impatient now. Dad, where are you? Is Jake here? Still, there was no answer. Fred looked to Quinn helplessly. We should split up. I will search down here. You look in the bedrooms. Quinn nodded, grabbing the children's hand. Come on, guys. Let's go find Jake. The kids, a little out of their element, obediently climbed the stairs. Fred, meanwhile, moved from the living room to the dining room to the kitchen. But the house was empty. Hello? Where is everybody? Even the garden was eerily quiet. Fred ran back inside the house where Quinn and the kids waited for him, having also returned empty-handed. He's not upstairs, Quinn announced, trying to stay composed while Sammy and Denny clung to her, both sniffling. Is there another house he could be at? Quinn probed, but Fred shrugged his shoulders at a loss. Maybe your dad and mom took him on an adventure, does he have places in the city that he likes to go? Quinn asked, energy and hope returning to her voice. Fred thought for a moment. The zoo. With that thought as a guide, Fred, Quinn, and the children rushed through the New York City Zoo. They passed by lions sleeping in the afternoon sun and giraffes eating giant leaves from a group of tourists. Quinn pulled Denny and Sammy behind her. Fred... Where are we going? Quinn asked. To the monkeys. They are Jake's favorite. They stopped in front of the monkey enclosure where the various types of monkeys hung from trees and swung from branches. Just then, Fred spotted a boy with dark brown hair similar to Jake's. He was standing up so close to the exhibit that his face was pressed against the glass. Jake? Fred yelled. He was so relieved he thought he might burst into tears he grabbed the boy from behind and spun him around. It wasn't Jake. The kid jumped back from Fred in terror. Hey, get your hands off my kid! A woman then yelled fiercely at Fred. Fred just held up his hands and backed away. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, I thought he was my son. The woman grabbed her son's hand and dragged him away from the monkey enclosure casting back wary glances in Fred's direction. Quinn and the kids finally caught up with Fred, and they circled the enclosure multiple times together, searching for Jake. But he wasn't there. Is there anywhere else he could be? Quinn asked. What about his favorite food places? Somewhere your parents might have taken him. Another place he liked to go? A, a movie theater or museum? Fred shook his head. He hates museums, and he can never sit still long enough to watch a movie in theaters. Quinn hated to ask, but she had to. Could he be with Beatrice? Or someone else in her family? Fred shook his head. Max checked her house already and said that Beatrice's mom was visiting friends or something in London. Quinn breathed a sigh of relief. She was glad Beatrice hadn't gotten her mean hands on him again. Quinn ran her hands through her hair and looked around the enclosure again. She spotted Denny and Sammy in the corner, smiling at the monkeys. Denny pulled a silly face to make Sammy laugh. Quinn touched Fred's arm and motioned to Denny and Sammy. Maybe we should ask those two where he might be, 
They might have a good idea. Fred nodded and crossed to the kids. He knelt at Denny's height. Hey, Denny. I won't tell him you told me, but do you have any idea where Jake might be? He told me at lunch today that he wanted to go to a ball game, but you had to work. As always, he said. Fred hugged Denny tightly. Right. Thank you. I think I know where Jake might be. Hi, I am Quinn. Want to know my battle? Then download the Pocket FM app and listen to the exciting episodes of A Mother's Battle Now.